Well guys, I made it home last night with a shipping container. If you guys didn't watch that video, I had this electric winch here and I got another separate video on building the skid for it, the winch mount. And when I got the shipping container about a third of the way onto the trailer, well, the winch failed. <laughs> well, the winch is pretty old anyways, and I had to nurse it back to life. It was froze up the other day, so, but it sounded really good, and it worked really good, but all of a sudden, it just quit. So, um, I had a, a backup uh, come along, and that come along uh, started to fail on me as well, even though I had it double, double looped, there's just too much pressure for it. Uh, teeth started breaking off of it, so I had to run to the store and get, you know, this plan B here. Uh, after I hooked this up, then this has a a real nice pulley on there, so I in a in a big stout hook that I could come back around and hook it, get a little bit of double uh, strength out of the of the pull, bringing the shipping container the rest of the way onto the onto the deck of the trailer. Well, it took quite a while. That whole process took about four hours. Again, I've never done this before, so it was all new frontiers for me. By a little block and tackle and rigging and whatnot, we managed to get it up here and got it home. I can give a little more detail on this now that I've got it to the, got it, got it here, and I don't feel like under pressure to get it moved because I was in an alley, blocking the alley and such, and so I wanted to get it get it out of there so hopefully you guys got enough footage to where you can kind of get an idea on how I got this up here if the winch wouldn't have failed it would have came right up just like a dream and I could have buttoned this thing up and and been on my way in fairly short order but um, there's a couple of things that I kind of wanted to bring to your attention and that is if if the uh, shipping container whatever it is you're loading is coming up coming up at an angle uh, one way or the other you can reposition your tail hole here to the left or to the right in order to kind of pull it one way or pull it the other so if I if I had the winch closer towards myself it would have a tendency to want to drag the uh, shipping container to the driver's side of the uh, trailer vice versa same thing on the other side if I wanted to start to pull it if the shipping container was a little heavy pulling on this side, uh, the trailer might have be tilted a little bit, so it's going to want to favor going to that side. So if that was the case, I'd want to put the winch and stuff like that, or all the rigging a little bit over off center to this side in order to keep it pulling this way. Uh, the other thing is, is that if you're pulling something like this and the rear of the load is starting to travel, let's say this way, you're, you're hooked up a little offset on the on your pulling chain so you'll have a, a chain that runs from that corner right there and you have this side on this corner if you have the chain hooked too far this way well then the back of the box is going to want to try to favor going out towards the passenger side and so if that starts to happen, then you reposition the hook on your on your winch cable. You reposition that hook a little bit more towards center or a little farther off center towards the driver's side, and then that way it'll it'll start to straighten the box up as you're pulling it pulling the load onto the trailer. So those are just some things that I had not talked about, but I was doing yesterday, and it worked out well. The back side of the trailer was offset just this side a little bit and so then what I did came to the back I hooked a chain on this side and then took the come along and hooked it on the opposite side of the trailer frame over there and then just sucked this end so it was parallel here uh, from the edge of the trailer to the edge of the box so the box is eight feet wide and the trailer's eight feet wide so i had to get it right on center so i'm really happy with how the project turned out and again just to 
show you some of the way you'd, you'd, that I like to fasten it down. This is the way I always do it. I always cross, cross bind the chains from the far corner down to this corner and then from this corner crisscrossing. That prevents your load from shifting one way or another. I didn't need to do this but I had the straps anyway so what I did is I just did the same thing on the bottom as you can see and uh, it came home just fine. I could, I could go clear across the country with a load like that. So anyhow, uh, what I have to do now is unload it. <laughs> That's the real reason for this second video on this. There's a place here in town that just peels little logs and sells them for poles. So I went and bought eight of them. And what I plan on doing is unloading the trailer off onto these and just rolling it up into that flat area back up in there. That's all leveled out and ready to accommodate the, uh, the dry box. So when I get set up, I'm going to position the trailer just in front of these uh, round poles and take the backhoe and just slowly pull it off the trailer onto these poles and just drag it back to where it lands right there um, on that flat area towards the back here. So that's the plan. I hope that works.
looking to get the same distance from the shipping container to the hanger and it came out the same so uh, that's the first and probably the last <laughs> you know you can see what how I hooked up the truck how I could roll that across ground with some round poles like that I, I like using the round poles because it didn't mar up the ground uh, my I placed this place this rock down here and I didn't want to skid the shipping container across the rocks and mess up my leveling job and the leveling job worked out pretty good as well it's off a little it's off just a little bit on the inside I, sh I took a laser and, and shot around there and took measurements to the floor and it's and it is off a little bit but not much that where, where you can notice it so um, I'm pretty happy with the project um, it's been a few days later it's been raining pretty good and checked on the inside the inside is is dry uh, especially here in rain country we've got our humidity is way up into the 90s and it rains a lot so anyway pretty happy with it so far hoping with the tree coverage and different things and uh, might help to keep it shaded in the summer maybe a little bit warmer in the winter time so you know temperatures stay consistent in there so whatever we're storing in there uh, it won't sweat so anyway Hope that helps you out. Thanks for stopping by. Take care and God bless.